Is it normal to take lots of breaks in a programming job? I currently have an internship and I've been assigned to a single project and that project alone. While I'm usually several weeks ahead of schedule and put a lot of thought and detail into my work, I sometimes feel like I can't put my head towards the work. On occasion I'll browse the internet for random interesting topics to unwind myself so I can get back to work a few hours later. While I know that you're supposed to always work at work, I often feel as if it is almost unbearable to actively work for 8 hours a day non-stop. On other occasions, I'll get inspired and work for several days in a row making great progress, but on other days it'll be slow. My manager seems to be impressed with how fast I seem to be working so far and how much detail I put into my work. The same goes for my colleagues. Still, I feel that this is a bad excuse for me to work the way I do. So, to what degree is it considered, normal, to not being fully focused on your work? Or is it not considered normal at all? Am I just being lazy and inefficient? I realize this might be too broad of a question. So I'll try to add the following to narrow it down to, what could be the best approach for me to get more efficient? In an 8-hour shift, at minimum you should take two 15-minute breaks, and a 30-60 to 60 lunch break. The 15-minute breaks are on the clock, the longer lunch break is not. Additionally, you mention in one of your comments that your job involves writing code. Programming requires mental breaks to be effective. Programming is very cerebral, it's not a job where you can mindlessly follow a rote pattern. You need to rest your mind from time to time, especially when you switch from one major task to another. I find that if I walk away from a difficult problem for a few minutes, when I come back, I am often able to attack it in new, better ways that I wouldn't have thought of if I just stared at the screen waiting for inspiration to come. Here's what I like to do. In addition to unwinding on my one-hour lunch break, I allow myself 15-ish minutes per day to read the news. I don't have a set time, just whenever I feel I need a break. I scan Google News, and pick two or three headlines that interest me most. After finishing those articles, that's around 15 minutes. Additionally I allow myself another 15-ish minute break to get water, use restroom, goof off online, play a game on my phone, whatever. The second break is not at my desk. Additionally if, throughout the day I need to refill my water bottle, or make a brief pit stop to the restroom, or even just stand up for 5 minutes and stretch my legs at my desk, I don't worry about it. Writing code is mentally taxing work that most people don't know how to do, or even how to learn to do, and it has a big impact on the business. Generally managers will be understanding of occasional breaks. One programming shop where I worked, the entire staff would take a daily break where they would share snacks and read, talk about the newspaper, back when newspapers were a thing. You're young, and an intern, so I understand that you need to make a good impression. So, obviously, don't abuse it. But if you take a few reasonable, 10 to 15 minute breaks a day, and a lunch break, it should be fine. Taking an occasional break is quite normal. Working fully concentrated for 8 hours straight without blinking your eyes seems next to impossible. For instance, in my country, it's commonly accepted that a smoker can go have a smoke twice day during the office hours. Others, such as yourself might browse the internet a bit if they need to clear their head. However, you state that your break can be a couple hours, which is not normal. At the same time, you also state that the manager is happy with your work. This would suggest you are not being assigned enough work to keep you busy. Either there simply isn't enough work to go around, which I find can be incredibly frustrating, or you outperform your colleagues quite badly. IMO not having enough work can make a day very boring, and severely hurt your motivation. I would suggest talking to a manager to get enough work to keep you busy. If this means you will be accomplishing a lot more than your colleagues, it will count in your advantage in the next round of promotions or salary raises. If there simply isn't enough work, you might want to make good use of this extra time. Maybe learn a new skill on the internet, do some extra unplanned improvements, or search for another job that will use your talents more fully. However, if you don't want to change the situation, if you are happy this way, and your manager is happy with you, well, carry on. I cannot count the times where I have been stuck for hours on a problem that was solved 5 minutes after cruising the net or be sing with a coworker. I would recommend discretion, however, as Sobrick pointed out below, sometimes coworkers can judge you. 
That said, what matters most is that you get the job done. If you have a good manager, that's what matters. You may even approach him or her by saying, would you mind if I took a walk? I need to clear my head. There is a concept called sharpening the saw that goes all the way back to lumberjacks. If the saw was dull, hard work didn't matter. So stopping work to sharpen the saw made for more efficient work and better results. In this case, your mind is the saw, and by stepping back, taking breaks and breaking up the work, you are making yourself sharp and better able to get the job done. If your manager is impressed with the speed of your work then I wouldn't worry. If you still feel inefficient, then I would say instead of just reading whatever on the internet, read things that are relevant to the kind of work you do. That way, the long breaks you are taking are really just professional development time. Others have said it, so some of this will be a repeat. I write code myself, and I can tell you there is no way you sit for 8 hours a day, writing code taking two fifteens and a lunch and write any quality code for any length of time. You need frequent mental breaks to let your brain unwind. It's most important to make these breaks when switching gears and moving from one task to another. If you do not take frequent mental breaks you will instead work one 8-hour day in a week and spend the other 4 days recovering. Especially after the first few months. You will fight some real internal resistance and find yourself not caring because you're just plain burnt out. On the other side, you can't spend 4 hours working and the rest of the day surfing stack exchange. I find a good balance around the Pomodoro technique. Now I think the full structure of the Pomodoro technique is silly in the real world. But that doesn't mean that we can't take the lessons learned from the technique and use them. You're going to ditch most of the tracking and planning, and instead focus on a couple of key things. Work 25 minutes, then take a 5-minute complete break, get up and away from the computer. For every 4 Pomodoros take a longer break of 25 minutes, this is longer than normal, but I find it helps. When you're working, work, 100% work. When you're breaking, break 100%. Don't fill your breaks with emails or compiling, and don't alt plus tab to stack exchange during the work time. The one thing you're going to want to track is complete Pomodoros. This will give you a measure of productivity. It will also let you know how long certain tasks are taking you. For example, adding feature 2 will take 3 Pomodoros. You don't want to track one task per Pomodoro or anything like that, and you probably don't want to track interruptions. What you're most concerned with is 25 on 5 off. Make sure you have a email Pomodoro. You don't want the work to only be coding. You want work to include all your work, even if that work is pretending to care at the break room conversation. From a manager's perspective, because programming is the sort of a job which is very hard to measure when it comes to timing, companies sometimes do expect you to work extra, but they won't allow anyone working any less than eight hours. Because it's difficult to measure performance, if your manager gets a feeling that you are behind schedule for a project for whatever reason, he may start monitoring you and that's where reading news or playing games for hours or even shorter time like 10 to 15 minutes, but consistently may cause trouble. From an honest programmer's perspective, some tasks are so interesting that we don't even get time to look around, while others are so boring and complex that we from time to time take shorter breaks, but these breaks are related to our as work as well, e.g. watching something on plural site or reading about future releases in technology that may help us. From a not-so-honest programmer's perspective, he may not find any task interesting at all, so he consistently finds interests in other activities that are not work-related. Summary. If you're at work, your activities should be work-related. Now some companies are strict and others are not. So shape yourself based on that.